Hey Houston, what's integration by part? Teachable moment number 37, integration by part. What is integration by part? Integrating a composition of functions. When do you use IBP? For when you can't substitute or use simple integration. What does it look like? What does it look like? Well, the integral x squared times e to the x is a composition of x squared and e to the x. The integral natural log x dx is a composition of natural log x and dx. The integral x cosine x is a composition of x and cosine x. Wow, that looks difficult. Don't worry, you just need to remember a few things. Remember this, liate. Logarithms, inverse trig, algebraic, trig, exponential. Also, remember the equation. The integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral v du. u equals the first function, and du equals the derivative of the first function. dv equals the second function, v equals the antiderivative of the second function. I don't know if I can do this. The importance of liate. u equals the first matching letter descending from liate. For example, the integral x cosine x dx, u equals x because it's algebraic, a in Liate. dv equals the second matching letter descending from Liate. For example, the integral sine x times e dx dx. Mm, let's try an example. Example 1. Integrate x cosine x squared dx. Hey, wait! I need substitution for this! Exactly. IBP only when you have to. In this problem, even though it's composition, use substitution. U equals x squared. DU equals 2x dx. DU over 2x equals dx. Replace dx with DU over 2x. The x's cancel. Then take out the 1 over 2. And now plug in the U. And it equals 1 half sine x squared plus C. A real player? Now let's try a real problem. Example 2. Integrate x cosine x dx. In this problem, substitution does not help. So, integrate by parts. First remember the equation. Then use liate. It's algebraic. Then trig. So, u equals x. dv equals cosine to x. Then, the derivative of u equals dx and the antiderivative of v equals sine x. Plug that into our equation like so. Then integrate sine x dx. This equals negative cosine x. The negatives cancel, giving you x times sine x plus cosine x. Hmm, this is easy. IBP is simple. You forgot plus c. Wait, there's more. In example 3, integrate x squared times e dx using liate u equals x squared, dv equals e dx. Then, the derivative of 2x equals 2, and the antiderivative of e dx is still e dx. Plugging that into the equation, we can see that we cannot integrate 2x e dx. Wait, I have to integrate again? In some problems, you might have to integrate more than once. Using Liate still, our second u equals 2x, and our second dv equals e dx. Then, the derivative of 2x equals 2, and the antiderivative of e dx is still e dx. Next, use IBP to replace the integral 2x e to the x. Distribute the negatives, then integrate 2 e to the x. Leaving us with x squared times e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus 2 e to the x. Mm, I think I get it now. You forgot plus c again. Try this one. In example 4, integrate e x sine x. Our u equals sine x, and dv equals e x. The derivative of sine x equals cosine x, and the derivative of e to the x equals e to the x. After plugging it into our equation, it looks like we might have the IBP again. The second u equals cosine x, and the second dv equals e to the x. The derivative of cosine x equals negative sine x and the antiderivative of e dx equals e dx. But look what we have here. It goes on forever! How do I do this? 
This is what we call IBP special case. In a special case, keep IBPing until you have the original integral in one of the terms. Then get that integral to one side. The rest is algebra. Divide by 2 and you get skinny x sine x minus e x cosine x over 2 plus c equals the integral e the x sine x dx. When am I ever going to use this in real life? The applications of IVP. Just like regular integration, use it to find the distance when you have velocity. Use it to find the average of functions. Use it to find the amount of work to move an object. Use it to find the force of liquid pressure for reinforcing dam. IVP! Awesome! I think I get it now. <laughs> <laughs>